PvP is one of the best ways to farm out Black Crystals, especially with the new Midnight Sun banners coming out and the new Seasonal banner coming out on the 19th with arguably the best character in the game, Noel. However, free-to-play players look at PvP, I feel like, and they're like, oh my gosh, how do I take on these ridiculous 160,000 battle power teams? I barely have my characters leveled up. I only have like two SSRs. What do I do? I am so scared. Okay, well, don't freak out. You can actually make it all the way into these upper leagues as a free to play player and get these 1700, 1800 free black crystals. That is a free multi and then some if you know what characters to work on. So today, I'm going to go over the best free to play characters that you guys can level up. First and foremost, let's talk about Finral. If you have played Arena at all, you have probably seen this character. If you can, and you are a free-to-play player and you don't have other SSRs to work on, I would recommend leveling Finral up to LR. Even actually, if you have other SSRs, I still recommend leveling Finral up to LR. I'm working on getting him to LR myself because he is very, very good. So what does he do? His first skill is Spatial Magic Bullet, and what it does is it grants an increased speed level two buff to two allies with the lowest mobility, okay? The second skill grants all allies an increased attack buff, and if a designated ally is buffed with increased crit rate, grants them a 10% increased damage buff, and then 60% chance to grant an ally a 15% increased mobility buff, so more mobility. And then right here, grants all allies an increased speed level three buff for two turns, 60% chance to remove debuffs, and then 50% chance to grant an ally increased rate, uh, crit rate buff for three tur uh, two turns, sorry. That is all really, really insane, okay? The biggest thing, first and foremost, that you are going to want to do well in PvP is a higher speed than the opponents. That way you get more turns and more moves and you uh, can attack them first, you can debuff them first, and you can also, with this character, remove debuffs, which makes him insanely, insanely good, and then he increases damage and crit rate for your team. Like, Finral is probably one of the best supports in the game, and he starts out as a free-to-play SR that you, you can get easily, so like, make full use of Finral. He is insanely, insanely good, and you can enhance him. If you just do a couple of pulls, you'll easily get enough to enhance him because SRs flow to you like, you know, water in this game. It's insane how fast you can get uh, an SR enhanced as opposed to an SSR. The next character I'd be focusing on is Charmy. If you are lacking the new seasonal Mimosa, I would say Charmy is probably the next best healer because she is insane. I've taken on a few teams with Charmy as a healer, and it's a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. So her first skill summons a flock of wool dealing damage to an enemy, grants the ally with the lowest HP ratio, HP recovery equal to 120% of own magic attack, 50% chance to perform an extra attack on an enemy dealing damage equal to 60% of attack and magic attack, and then grants all allies HP recovery equal to 30% of damage dealt upon performing an extra attack. So she does HP recovery with this move, she gets an extra attack potentially, and that she heals with the extra attack. That's really good for an SR character, right? If you eventually get up to LR, she has pretty decent stats too. Her second skill, Feast, grants an ally 240% of own magic attack as HP recovery. That will basically take a ally that is at 0% health and heal them up to full. It's uh, insane. It, it's really, really good. And then 60% chance to grant an ally a SP plus one buff. What an SP buff is, is it increases the SP required for combined attacks and special skills. In other words, it'll just help one ally get their special skill back a uh, turn faster essentially and then her special skill strike of sleeping sheep inflicts remove one buff on an enemy okay so you're removing enemies buffs and then 50 percent chance to additionally inflict remove one buff on the enemy so you can remove uh an extra buff if you're lucky so overall i would think the i would say the best thing about charmy is her healing her second skill but the first skill is also decent for healing. The, the special skill is okay. Removing buffs is nice in PvP. It's helpful. But like the big thing you're going to want Charmy for is if you lack a healer, she is actually a really good healer. The next SR character I would focus on working on or free character that you can get for the most part is going to be uh, Valtos here. Valtos is very similar to Fenrir and that he gives increased mobility, so grants a 10% increased mobility buff to the ally with the lowest mobility, which is pretty good. Not as good as Finral though, so I'd say go Finral first. If you don't have Finral, go with Valtos. Uh, and then for his second skill, Space Creation grants a designated ally an increased magic attack level three buff for two turns, 
that is the one thing that makes him arguably better than Finroll because that is insanely good. Like they do different things, but they do similar things. Okay. This increased magic attack level three though is a 70% boost for an ally. That's insane. That can make your ally hit so hard. 50% chance to grant an ally reduced mobility immunity for one turn as well. So let's say you put this on seasonal Asta and you buff seasonal Asta and you give him reduced mobility uh, immunity along with extra magic attack. Ooh, your boy can hit hard, okay? And then the special skill, My Raid Black, grants all allies a 20% increased mobility buff, okay? So, Baltos, a very solid option for PvP when it comes to a free to play player. And then, last but not least, we have Nebra, okay? Nebra uh, inflicts a reduced magic attack level 1 debuff on the enemy with the highest mobility for two turns. So, that's pretty nice that you are able to reduce the highest mobility enemy uh, enemy's attack, meaning it's going to help you stay alive a little bit longer if you have like seasonal Asta coming after you because he has my high mobility or seasonal Yami coming after you, uh, you can reduce their damage so hopefully they don't one shot your characters. And then the second skill, Miss Spider's Thread, 40% chance to inflict a transform status ailment on an enemy for one turn. And what transform does is it makes it so the enemy cannot take action on their own turn. That's pretty solid, right? And then it goes a step further for this skill. It inflicts a reduced defense level by four debuff on the enemy for two turns, making them really squishy. That is a 70% defense reduction. That is insanely good. And then the special skill activates summon clone for two turns and what summon clones does is it summons two clones to deal damage equal to 35 percent of attack and magic attack to an enemy upon using miss bullets i would say the special skill is the one thing that kind of holds nebra back because it's not that great but the other two skills she has are really solid and i like them a lot so if i were to say like how to prioritize these four free to play I say free to play because they're easy to get. Some of them you have to summon, but more or less free to play characters. I would say prioritize Finral first, and then I would say do Valtos. If you don't have Finral, I'd say Finral and Valtos are about on the same level. And then do Charmy, and then last but not least, do Nebra. I wouldn't recommend running a team with all of these characters, but if you don't have any of the uh, other SSRs, you know, they are... <laughs> I suppose solid options and you could try running them together but yeah those are all very good support characters i would not recommend running them together because they are support characters you need an attack character so yeah that is it for the video guys hopefully you find some use in those characters hopefully they help you out hopefully they help you climb in arena and if you've been struggling with arena and this helped you out at all let me know down in the comments and also let me know in the comments what other black clover mobile content would you guys like to see in the future thank you guys so much for watching peace Made that